graduated from Willow Falls High School last year. So now I'm a freshman at North Century University. And tonight I'm going to be talking about being a light for Jesus. But before I get started, I'm just going to open in prayer. So you guys pray with me. Dear God, thank you that we're all able to be here tonight, and thank you that we're able to play a fun game and enter into worship, and I pray that as Alex and I speak, you'll just guide us and we can um, say the right words for you. In your name, amen. amen. All right, so I'm going to be talking about being a light for Jesus, and when I was thinking about what to talk about um, in the new year and everything, God reminded me of something that um, he brought to my heart last year. And I was kind of just sitting in my room in the dark, and it was pitch black. So just picture yourself sitting in your bedroom where you know where, every, where everything is in your room. You can make out, like, all the silhouettes, but it's not exactly clear. And then if you see, like, a car drive by, the room kind of lights up a little bit. So it's kind of like that. I was just sitting in there, and I could see everything in my room, but it wasn't, like, super clear. And I just had the thought, like, what if I turn on my flashlight? So I just turned on my flashlight on my phone and my whole room lit up and the thing that God kind of spoke to me through that is even in the dark room as soon as I turned on the light it was like everything became clear and that's sometimes how our faith walk can be we just need a little bit of prayer just a little bit of light and everything can be lit up and we can see so much more clearly and we can trust in God so much more and Jesus calls us to be the light of the world in Matthew 5 14 through 16 it says you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So my question for tonight is how do we live for God and how can we be a light for Jesus? So I came up with three main points, and they're kind of three different steps in your faith walk. So you might find yourself in relate, relating to the first one, the second one, or the third one, or whatever that looks like. So my challenge for you is, as I'm talking and as Alex is talking, just to get one thing from what we're saying. So the first point for how to be light for Jesus is to be made new. Maybe you come to church every week, but you haven't really ever given your life to Jesus. And you're just kind of figuring stuff out, but you're not really sure. Well, God can make you new when you come to him. In Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, it says, You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupt by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on your new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So God says that he can make us new. And I love this because we're starting in a new year. Maybe you're five days into the new year and you're already not happy with how the year is going. Maybe something bad has already happened or school has started and you're not looking forward to that. But the great thing about New Year is that you can have a new start. And if you're not happy with how you're living now, well, today can be the day for change. And I love that we can just come to God as we are. If you're broken, if you're lost, if you feel hopeless, whatever you're struggling with, and he can make you new. You don't have to come in and try to be this perfect person, but he's the one who does all the changing in our lives. So maybe you are related to that and you just need a new transformation in your heart. Maybe you have been made new by Jesus and you come to youth group and you go to church and maybe people know you're a Christian, maybe they don't. But maybe you need to spend more time with Jesus. So my second point is to be a light for Jesus, you need to spend more time with him. I kind of put in for this point, even if you're tired, which can be a big thing when you're going to school. Just always want to take a nap. You stay up late, then you wake up early, and the days just seem so long. In Matthew 11:28, 28, it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Maybe you've heard that verse before, but just let that sink over you. Even if you're weary or burdened or tired, God can give you rest. In order to have a light for Jesus, you have to fuel that light. It can be hard to wake up every day and pretend to be a Christian if you're not fueling that light inside of you. You're going to run out. It's going to grow dim. You have to spend time with Jesus every day. So I challenge you to start somewhere. And whatever you're struggling with, God can restore that. So something about the internet, I don't know if you guys know, but you guys can just look up stuff, <laughs> whatever you need. So if you need a Bible verse, let's say you are struggling with hope, you can just go onto Safari, type in 
verses about hope. And then it shows up with like a bunch of Bible verses. So maybe to spend time with Jesus this week, you just look up a verse for something that you're struggling with, something that you need, and you focus on that verse and you pray over it and think about what God is speaking to you through that verse. So yeah, maybe you are needing to spend more time with Jesus, no matter how long your days feels. It's super important, and it definitely is something that has changed my walk in faith. So maybe you have been made new in Christ and you spend time with him, but you just feel like your light is growing dim. So my third point is, it's time to shine as bright as stars. Sounds a little cheesy, but Philippians 2, 14 through 16 says, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Even when your mom says, hey, can you go do this for me? Or your sibling asks if you can drive them somewhere. It says, do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure. And then you will shine as bright as the stars in the sky. So all we have to do to shine is not complain. Okay, that sounds pretty easy, but it's not. <laughs> so you have to have a thankful heart. It starts from the inside out. And even though it does sound simple, it's not always easy. And teenagers get a bad rep. They're known as oh, just being a teenager. So maybe that's why God is saying this, that you need to, in order to shine for him, you need to have a thankful heart. And like I said, it starts from the inside. So what are some goals that you can make this year to be more like Jesus and to live more like him? That's something that Alex is going to be talking more about. So it can be easy to fake it from day to day. And this life's not always going to be easy. But it's important to seek Jesus over everything else in life. When you put him first over everything, everything else will fall into place. So tonight, whether you are needing to be made new, need to go closer to God, or you're ready to shine your light without complaining, I pray that you'll just take one thing away from what I said. And now Alex is going to come up.